for Allah to see and to prove to you because he already knows. Ayuku Mahsan Wamala, which of you is best in conduct? Who is more obedient to Allah? And he said, Wahu ala Aziz al and Allah, he is Aziz al Ghafur. This night we are going to be seeing, or we are going to be starting from Ayah 3. And this Ayah 3 is the second. You know, we said Ayah 2 is the first mentioning of the Kudro, the power and knowledge of Allah. Ayah 3 now is the second mentioning. Unless you call a Kosaba Asamawa thing, Tibako, Mataro, Fi Holy Kibrahman, in Tafawut, Faruja El Basoro, Hal Taro, Min Futu. Unless you call a Kosaba Asamawa in Tibako, it is still Allah that we have mentioned that He created the heaven and the earth. That Allah, it, it is He who created Sabu Asamawat in Tibaco. You know, we already say He created death. He created life to test us. That's not all what Allah has created. For a few, just one of some of those things again is Holako Sabu Asamawat, He created the seven heavens, Tibaco, in layers, arranged. One above the other, he arranged them like that without any contact, without one of them supporting the other. That okay, without this heaven, <laughs> everything will collapse. So he made it one above the other without anything, pillar in between them supporting. It is he, Allah, who has created it like that from his power. Can we leave this pen standing or hanging? It's not possible. You will not see in the creation of Abrahman. You will not see in the creation of the most merciful Lord. Allah is now describing himself as the most merciful, which is established before. Bismillahi Abrahman, then the Abrahim dear. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, and he brought it Abrahman Abrahim. Fala said, Matar of Yuholiki Rahman, you will not see, or you do not see, in the creation of the most compassionate one. The most merciful one means tafawut, any irregularity, anything that is not well organized, that is disparity, that is tafawut. You will not see anything from that creation of Allah. But uh, maybe we are thinking there is something Allah has not uh, created very well. Allah said, okay. Faru jail basoro. Then turn towards the heaven again. Cast a look at it again. Haltaro min futur. Did you see any crack? Did you see any problem? Did you see any disorganization? It's like I'm telling you that I have designed and covered this phone. And there is no abnormality, irregularity in this phone. And you know in your mind you are looking at it because you are holding the phone now. Or you do not tell me you are going to test me. If now I will have checked very well. It's as if Allah have the best examples. But it's as if Allah is telling you, okay, maybe in your mind you are not comfortable. He now said, Faroje el Basoro. He told you it has been informed. You know that Allah created the heaven without anything supporting, without any crack, without any problem. Without it falling one day, you see angels coming down with a uh, with head pan, with cement. Ah, angels, what happened? Uh, you know, there is crack, so we want to fix it. Allah has sent us to do that. We have not seen anything like that. And we have not had. So Allah said, Faruji el Basol, return back and check again. Haltaro min futur. Did you see any futur? Did you see any, 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 any crack? Any disorganization? You know, Allah created, He originated the creation of the heaven and the earth. He arranged them, Ba'aduha for Koban, above the order. 
in strata and they are all separate without anything in between supporting Prophet Muhammad in the hadith of Isra and Mirai he explained it to us the distance between the, 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 the first heaven to the other the angels there the creation the beautification the things it is being built with so you who want to look with whatever you want to look in 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 in, in, in testing or in confirming take your time pay attention you will not see anything to say ah Allah did not make this one very well and look at one who put in this place as he will see it it takes us back to Surat Al-Rod Allah said Allah who lazy rough as Samawat be going in Ahmad in Tarawu Naha Allah is the one who has rough who has raised who has erected Samawat the Sama be going in Ahmad without any pillar Tarawu Naha that you can see there is no pillar. Allah raised the heaven. There is no pillar. Summa stawa al arush. Then after making it that way, Allah established himself over the throne. Wasakoro shams walukoma kulu yajiri li ajale musamma. Allah subjected the sun and the moon. And each of them, the sun or the moon, yajiri li ajale musamma, they are running in a specific time. The sun, the moon, they all have their own time, their own period. It is Allah that has arranged it that way. He erected and raised the heaven, the Goyer Ahmad, without any pillar. Taro Naha that you can see. <laughs> there is no pillar like that. So, and the actual description or understanding or knowledge as far as the creation of the Sama is concerned belongs to only Allah. Because we cannot comprehend it. We will not even understand it. So, Allah has informed us here that he made it without any problem, without anything. It is done in a flawless, man, in a flawless manner. And these are connected with each other in a way or in a form that they are very straight and level. They have no disunity. Or inconsistency in the way Allah have uh, arranged it. There is no crack, no tear. Then Allah now said, okay, maybe that is not enough for us to, to confirm. Ayah 4, Allah said, Thumma rujia ila basoro ka rotein yang kolibu ilayi ka ila basoro basoro kosi awa huwa hasir. After telling us, we have been instructed that he created without any problem. Flores, the way it is. No disunity. Okay, go back, turn, and look at it again. Is there any problem? I told you my phone have no problem. I said it because you have not touched it. You saw it, and okay, ah, the phone is still good, though. But in your mind, ah, after three days, now it will crack now. Allah said, So, Maruji el or Kabrotei, then take a look at it again. Return back and check. Observe it again. Once, twice. And continuously, Yam Kolib Ilay Kalabasor, your sight that turning to see, Allah said, Yam Kolib, it will return back to you, Hose, and it will make you humble. It will subject you to humiliation. It will make you to be dishonored and know who has said, and you will be wary because you will see it, it, will, it will bring you down. It will make you humble. It will now make you. To appreciate because you will be unable to see any problem, any crack, any disorganization, not perfectly arranged. The way I can build a house and uh, someone who is better, perfect than me will tell you, okay, this is not straight, this block will have been here, you can see these tiles, no. So you can just think of that of Allah. And uh, it is not necessary that you are doing that, maybe you are challenging the creation of Allah. The companions of Prophet Muhammad when the Prophet tells them this thing is going to happen in a battle a particular man he was fighting fighting and uh, fighting the enemy killing them and the Prophet said it's somebody from hell mm -hmm. and they were like ah how many this man is a Muslim is it really, is he will fight and defeating the enemy the the, 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 the the character one of the method of the companions is that they will want to, when the prophet make any such promise, they will want, they will pay keen attention. They will
will want to see what will happen. They want to confirm that prophecy. They want to reestablish their belief in Prophet Muhammad. They want to be the first to say it and go and tell people. Prophet Muhammad has spoken the truth again. He said it's going to happen. It has happened. So, you now, you can test it for you to confirm that ah, there is nothing like that and it will reestablish your belief in Allah. When Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salawat min Allah wa taslimat, when he said that Allah, Arini, show me, the way, the way, the way you give life to, to, to death, to those things that are dead. And Allah said, ah, how am I am truly, are you, don't you believe again, are you doubting? He said, no, 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 I believe. But what? I, I want my heart to be at rest. I want to, I want to be further convinced. I know you are good in maths when you say two divide by ten, multiply by these, and you open the bracket, you wrote and you close it. I know you are good. I want to, I want to reconfirm it. I want to see how you did it. I want to please you more that you are a guru in that field. But whatever method you will use. You cannot see because this has been created by Allah. He is the al the fashioner. He is the al the creator. So, can we, can we or any other person we are calling creator, you, 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 you manufacture the, the chair, you fashion it, or you fashion designer, the tailors. The actual designer, that wood you use in building what you have built. Who, who, who brought it? Who originated it? Who brought it out from nothing to become something? That's what we are talking about, the originator. It was not known. Then Allah now mentioned in Ayah 5. Wala kodi za yenna sama adunia bima swabiha. Waja alna ha ujuma in shayateen. Wa atadna lahu muhadab al-sa'in. Allah said, Wala kodi za yenna sama adunia. Indeed, we have designed, we have adorned, we have beautified the lowest heaven, Sama and Dunya. The Sama is the, is the heaven, Dunya, that is the one that is nearest to, the, to, this, uh, to this world. So it is now the lowest one because we know there are seven arranged in strata like that. Allah said, well, according to Zayana, indeed we have adorned it, we have designed and beautified it, be masrobir with lamps. What are those lamps? The stars. The nujum with the stars. Allah said, Waja alnaha rujuma, and we made those stars, those lamps, those masrobe that we use in designing to adorn. When you look at the sama, you see it well beautified. The way the lights here make this place look fine. When you switch off the lights now, even though you have your touch light, you will be comfortable. At home, when there is no light, even though there is no heat, you won't on fan. But because there is no light, you will be feeling heat. You won't be comfortable. You were hungry before they took light, but the hunger, the hunger will increase. You, you just look disorganized. So it is, it is a design. Allah said, I made those lamps. I have designed the Samar Dunya, the lowest one, with Masobi, with lamps. Which is the Nujum, the stars. And we made them the same stars we used to design, to adorn, to beautify. Allah said, We use them, Waja Al Naha, we made them also Rujuman as measles. Is it the, the missile? Sorry. Not the not the, the measles of M E A S. This one is M I S S I L E S. The one you use in fighting in trade, mm -hmm. our English pronunciation. Allah said, We made it as Rujum, that is Marojim. It is something that is being used to strike the enemy now. But for who? Is it to, to fire us? The Shayateen. Allah said, As missiles against the Shayateen, the, the, the devils. Because they always attempt, they always want to sneak. To go to the heaven, to listen to discussions, and uh, when when it is being shoot, the one we call the shooting stars, it is being shoot either to kill the jinn 
or to deprive them from getting access or it caused damage to their mental to, to their sense that they, it will even cause them to forget what uh what they have listened to because when allah is pleased with his slave allah will announce it to jibreel and jibreel will will announce to the other angels that allah is pleased with so-so servant so you should be happy with him also oh allah is angry with so-so servant so when they go going to the gathering of the angels having discussions of what allah has decreed or designed for me for us you want to sneak in and tap from those information so it serves as something that will shoot them and uh sometimes they are able to return to those information that because they are very smart that is the one allah have designed that they go with you know we cannot outsmart allah you cannot hide now you cannot do anything when what you what that thing you don't want to do you are not doing it it just crossed your mind I will have done this, uh, but I will not even do it. It's even in your mind. Even though you won't have seen, like, Allah will be loved with fear, man, you Because it's still in your mind, right? You have not voiced it, and you did not do it. You will not be held accountable for it. But what you are saying, Allah knows. You did not even say it, it was just in your mind. It just crossed your mind. Tomorrow, I will not even present you by force. Allah knows. Because He's Allah. He created you now. He knows. I am a carpenter, for example, a furniture. I designed a table. I know what that table, the wood it is being made of. So I will be able to tell you ordinarily how durable or how long it will last. I should be able to tell you. And this is a even minor example because Allah has the master, He has the best of all examples. But we are only trying to bring so that our, our mind will go to but the examples of Allah. No. It is only Prophet Muhammad so that can give this explanation to us. Allah said, Wa atadna Allahu Sa'ir. And we have prepared for them. This chayatin again. We have prepared for them Azaba Sa'ir. A serious punishment. A blazing a punishment from Sa'ir. The blaze from the, the blazing one. That is a fire that is kindled. That is Sa'ir. Azab is the punishment. But Sa'ir, the, the one that we are prepared for them, a serious punishment from the from the nar that is being kindled, the blazing one for them. For trying to sneak. Because they have disbelieved in Allah. The, the closest heaven, what we are saying is, Allah, the one that is closer to human being, Allah have designed and, and, and uh, beautified it with the with the stars some are stable some moves yes some are stable they are just there and there are those that are not stationary they move that is where Allah have designed it and uh, it became one of the one of the beautiful things Allah have designed and Allah called the the, the, the stars the kawaki or the nuju as lamps because it beautifies and it shines. But the, the, the issue is it is very far from us. So that's why we, we see it as it is very small. And that's why we see that it is not bright. And that's why we want to believe that the satellite fixed there is brighter. Let's see when we continue our discussion, we will quickly look at the brief story of the Miraj of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that night he went to the seventh heaven yes Allah made it a night for him a journey of a 500 years journey from just one one just just to penetrate between the first heaven and the second and then continuously like that but in a night he went to the extent that he, he, he went with Jibreel or with Jibreel and they were even knocking or doing salam it means there is gate in heaven there is gate. It is Salam. And they say, ah, who is that? He says, ah, yes, it's Jibreel. Ah, are you with anybody? Yes, who is that? It's Muhammad. Has it been called for? Yes. And the door was opened. We are not looking at it now. Because I, we, we, we want to know. Remember, we said we are not going deep on some issues. Because not that they are not important. They are very, very important. That's what we need to learn. But let us bring ourselves 
close to the understanding of the Quran, to the available and the general on the meaning of the Quran. So that when when the when 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 that beauty, when that law, when that the the, the light or the knowledge there, yeah, if it enters our heart, it calls for more time to dwell inside and learn more. So that we don't spend one year trying to learn everything about Surat al Muluk. And maybe there are some things we need to learn that is in uh, Surat al Qalam. So let us just have, and this are Surah we always use in Salah. So let us at least have the understanding that when I say Allah Akbar, when I recite God and Magdubi Ali Mullah Dali, and I take Surat al Muluk, Surat al Muluk, and when I'm saying, وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّا السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَا صَوَبِهَا وَجَعَلْنَاهَا رُجُومًا لِشَاتِينَ You should know, okay, this is what I'm discussing. So that when you go out and you see the stars, you know, these stars are not just there for, for the angels to know direction. They're not just there because uh, maybe they are, they are even the pillars. Uh, maybe beyond those stars, you can see, they are, these shooting stars, they are start having different discussion. No. Allah said, this is what he has made it for. To beautify the earth. And there are some that are stationary and some moving. Some are being used, just designed there. Yeah. There are some are shooting stars. It's not that I like created them as shooting stars. Oh, you, you should just be, I will just be using it to shoot. No. But they serve that purpose when necessity necessitates that. Allah said, He has prepared on the day of Kiyama. After the burning. Because when it strikes them, the stars, when it strikes any devil, any of the jinn, it burns them. But that is not enough. It is Allah has after that they are born in this world, Allah has prepared a serious punishment for them in now in fire. Why? Because of their facade, their corruption, and their mischief. That is when when they are now able. To hear one information, they come down. They meet that soothsayer, that fortune teller, that uh, that man in whatever name. Some of them will call them Allah. If you are a soothsayer, you are a soothsayer. Any name you give to yourself as Baba, I don't know why they used to call on them. Some are young. <laughs> They come with some of those information which they actually had, and they give the information that uh, yes, on so so day or uh, next year, you are going to go to Hajj. And the man will tell you, Yeah, you'll be in Hajj. That is from just one of those information Allah presented to them and they had, which is true. I'm going to go to Makkah this year because it has, it has been the strength and it is the good information. That Jibril passed to the other angels and he was able to hear. Allah made that stand not to burn him. So he came down and met that man that I have gone to meet, that fortune teller, to tell me my. I want to know my year. We just started now, this January. I want to know how this year will look like so that I will know how to plan my. Am I going to have a land? Am I going to have a car? Am I going to do this? Then he said, You'll be going to have If I go two times this year. Eh? Because that's what he had. <laughs> Then you now bring other information that are not correct. Or maybe it even happened. I have gone to the Hajj already. And you tell you, hey, you will be going to Hajj twice this year. If I, you have gone to Hajj, I can see you have ah, I have gone through this. <laughs> it will make you know that this man knows something. I came all the way from Abuja, journeyed for 10 hours, come to the village. To me, you don't know about me before, and you know my name. You know I have gone to Hajj. Even the market it I bought, you know how many I bought and how many lost. You will be saying the truth. So when he's now telling me all that thing because of that first one, I will be further convinced to believe he's saying the truth. But I must say one is a lie. The many ninety-nine lies, and we've mentioned that so Allah Sallam he said, "Man atakahina, you go to them, you disbelieve. After you going to them, you were there, and he now told you what happened." So this your information is wrong because this man you have mentioned is somebody I trust. But this information, no, no, no. I don't believe in this information. For that, your ibadah will not be accepted for 40 days. If you disbelieve, if you be, if you don't believe in him, all those incantations, 
the prayer he told the 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 the, the, the rope or whatever he gave to you how to dig how to do it. do you want to tie do you want to do every are you oh, well, yeah it's very good i need these protections i need this success you have to believe in what was revealed to prophet muhammad so, 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 so. how many a times have we visited these people in the name of babas in the name of malams and they have given a lot of these informations to us and we accept these informations we are even talking of visiting them once this is the, 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 the problem, the challenge, the penalty, the consequence. What of those that keep visiting, that visiting becomes very constant? <laughs> you have their food because uh, he's in the village, you are in the city, just call him. Yesterday I dreamt that a tree was pursuing me over top of me. And the Baba will tell you, it's your success that is pursuing you. A tree. So, Allah have designed this refer from this design of the heaven of the of this of the lamp we've mentioned, it refers to the stars. And uh Kotada, he mentioned, he said, Allah has created the Nuju, the, the, the stars for three things. He said, Allah created the stars, these stars that we know. We always see the one we said it is beautification, it serves as Misa is now. Kotada, he said, Allah has created it for three different uh, purposes. He said, Zina to Sama as beautification, as adornment to the self, to the, to the Sama, as mentioned by Allah clearly. He said, It is Ruju Manishayatin. That, as we have explained, to strike, to fire, to shoot the shayateen. And he said, وَعَلَامَاتْ يَحْتَدِ بِهَا فِي الْبَرُ وَالْبَحَرَ And he signed a direction for us as guide when you are moving, whether in the land or in the sea. Because it says, okay, it starts at here. Okay, this is, the, this is, where, this, the, this is where this direction is. But he said, any other one, if you have your ta'wil, you have other explanation, you have other opinion as to the creation of the stars, he said, you have burdened yourself with what mala il mala will be, what you have no knowledge of. You start thinking. And there is one thing that uh, there is one knowledge in these stars that you don't know. Let me tell you. You start bring something out of these three. Imam Kuntobi mentioned it also, bringing this hadith, bringing this explanation of Qatara. Ibn Kasey too mentioned it. So if you are now busy bringing other discussions that are not relevant, I want to tell you that with this star, I can know your future. If the star, if the one that comes out in the morning, if it is very bright, it means your day will be bright. That's what I see. And you see people who always claim they are educated, believing in some in, in things like this. We will make our peace easy for us. That is because these stars in Surah to Nahal, Allah said, Wa alamat, and these stars, we made it as landmark. We made we said wa alamat, they are just like landmarks. And also to guide their ways. Also to guide our ways. It is not for us to start having strange belief or things that are not correct to eat. And there are many things. Let's look at what to so far. Allah mentioned, Allah said, we have adorned the lowest heaven with an adornment with the stars. We have decorated it with stars. Allah said, we have as a guard, protection from all shaitan, from all the devil man, the rebellious ones, the evil ones. They cannot listen to the highest discussion when the angels sit and they are having this, they are gathering, the assembly. They cannot listen to it because they are stoned with, with, uh, with, the, with these stars. And the uh, continuation of uh, Surah Al Hijr, another discussion of other discussion as far as the stars is concerned. Let us quickly look at some lessons. 
to where we stop now. Which is some of those things we can benefit from these ayats we have recited. From the ayah 1 to ayah 5. Because even that day when we are starting, we recited from the beginning to and we stopped at that fine. So let us see brief discussions as it relates to these five ayats so that we know when we are meeting again, we are taking from ayah 6 to ayah 11. And ayah 6 to ayah 11 is talking about the punishment of the kuffar. The punishment Allah has prepared for the kuffar, the disbelievers. Ayah 1 to 5 is telling us about the kudro. The ability, the knowledge, which is the alien, the sovereignty, the power of Allah. Because these are things that nobody can do. Tabaraka lezi bi adihi al-mulku huwa la kuli shayin kodi. Kingship belongs to him. Alezi hola kol mauta wal hayat ali abulwa kuma yuku mahsanu amala. He who created mouth and life to test you. Alezi hola kol sabwa samawat in tibako. The one who created the heaven. And he arranged them without any pillar, without anything. Then, well, according to the Yana Sama Dunya, he said, We have designed these are things that only Allah can do. I don't, can we have our stars hanging there? Can we create heaven? Or we can create human beings? The highest you do is say, You are a father, you are a mother. Did you do the creation? Can you cause death? The highest you do is to shoot someone. And you, have not, you did not take the soul. Allah is still con is in control because he said there is no soul that will lie except with the permission of Allah. You that killer, if you were patient, that is the time that man will have still died. That's what the prophet said. If you are patient, so he will have still died that time. But you are not patient. You want him to quickly die. So you shot him or you, you cut his leg. Now the blood, the stain is on your hands. But had it been, you came with your bar and said, Kai, I will not kill you. It is the time you could be your God. He will have stood there that time. So if you end up not shooting him because you are waiting for him to die, and he did not die, it means it is not his time. You will have ended up shooting him, and they will rush him to emergency unit, and you see him coming. And what will be saying is, ah, hey, that man is strong. Oh. He's strong. It's not time. If it is time, that, uh, that his strongest will not happen. So this ayah one to this five, it is seen the ta'azum ulillah, it is establishing the glorification of Allah, the mightiness of Allah against every other person. These are not something we share with him. He is the king of the heaven and the earth, the dunya and the day of Kiyama. He is called he has the ability and is able to do whatever he wants to do in giving anything and having mercy on you in a retaliation or in punishing anybody if you choose to do that. It is Allah who originated death and he brought life itself to test us so we should know that we are in this world as people who are continuously writing exam. Allah will keep testing us. You should not think I am a friend of Allah so I don't need test. The punishment is to the angels for Allah. I'm sad that so it's to the prophets than those who are close. So the more closer you are to Allah, the more difficulty, the more the test, the more the pain. So if you sit down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months, a year, you are not sick. Your phone is not lost. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nobody died in your family. Your house did not collapse. You keep receiving promotions. <laughs> You are in trouble. You are in trouble. Something is wrong. But to us, our own time is I have to give testimony. I have never been closer to Allah than last year. Because I was sick just once. Chef Mont, you are sick once and you are unhappy. Nobody in fact, anything I touch. Okay. You touch when you touch something and uh, you are enjoying it. There is a sign of Allah is happy with you. Why was it not like that to Prophet Muhammad? So, Lord of Salah. Why was wealth or things not available for him? To, even though he is the rich and he is the king. But it was not like he, he was the prophet. But it was not available for him like that. And there was a time he borrowed the money. Time to pay. He was not yet able to pay. And the man came and sat with him. 
He said, you are not going to pray until you pay me. And Umar, you know Umar was Umar. You know, when we just say Umar, we know he's Umar. He says, ah, you know the prophet you're talking about? Let me deal with you so that you let him go and pray. What? The boy said, no, <laughs> I'm owing him. How many times do we owe people? Here's somebody and he went to pay. How much am I owing you? You know, just 10,000 naira. So pay me now. <laughs> and when such person dies, the soul will be going around. It won't have entrance into paradise. See how this until it is being paid on his behalf. Until it is being paid on his behalf. Someone who dies is shahid. There are six things attached to him. To him. He will be forgiven the first drop of his blood. He's forgiven his own sin. He will have a crown the day of Kiyama. He will be married to particular numbers of Burihin. He will be given the chance to intercede to a particular number of his family members. But if he's owing, all those good things are there. But you are not even in that paradise. It's very important. That is just owing you. I borrowed 2,000. I have refused to pay. What of the one that the most contributed 10,000 and I carried it? How many people am I owing? <laughs> is it not got the money? What's your concern? Can you just do a What? Got money that I contributed. Oh, okay. It means you can just eat my money, but you, you, you can. The, the, way we, the, way, the way we interact or we behave with God sometimes, it's like we are talking to our. Young, is it not God's money? Allah will understand. The Almighty Allah grant us his Rahman. Amen. Because we cannot understand if he now decides to choose us in You know, we, we want him to understand in this world. I hope some people will understand too on the day of Kiyama when he decides to throw them into hell. Let us always see it and picture whatever we are enjoying now, whatever power you have, a time will come you won't be able to move your leg. You, 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 not that you are even dead, you are sick. You see people together. You only be hearing their voice. Okay, oh, he's sick. Ah, I'll be giving him this tablet. You just be hearing. If Allah has destined something, else, such person will die. And you, that stronger man, that nobody dares climb the staircase. You have your special room, a special cushion. That day, they will just bring you down and bring one ordinary mat. Put you on the mat so that you don't stain the cushion. Or you don't smell. No matter how good you are, no matter how your children loves you, they will not allow you, they won't be comfortable that you remain with them at home for two days because you smell. They will cry, but they want you to be taken to that place where people who are buried are. And they will not stay with you. So that is the world we are cleaning ourselves for. We are living as if we will never go. The Almighty Allah grant us the ability to, to turn to Him as quick as possible. Amen. This test of Allah, Allah wants us to know who is that one that will, because He already knows, to prove to us ourselves now. So that it is not, oh Allah, did it you give me 10 years? I will have do this. Ah, but you live for 15 years. What did you do? So you now keep quiet. Because Allah already knows. It is to, to, for us, for you to be very clear. Who will be more conscious of Allah? Who will run away from the from things that Allah has made of haram? And who will be in hate? Because the instruction is Wasari You should hasten to the magfir of Allah. And the other ayah is Fastabikul You should raise one another to good deeds. Wasari is to be in haste. I am rushing, you are rushing, we are all rushing. But the one that Allah said, Fastabikul Khairat, it means race, compete with one another. So you want good, I want good. I should always struggle to do better than you. But make sure it is not a year. Look at Abu Bakr, always want to do better. Umar said, I tried, but I discovered the day we were supposed to bring, I brought half and Abu Bakr brought everything. Oh, Abu Bakr, what did you leave? Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, asked him. He said, I left Allah and Prophet for my family. Can we be? Allah and his prophet of our family. Can we be So, Alhamdulillah, we, from some of those uh, 
benefits I want to I wanted to mention up to five, but because of time, I only mentioned two. We will stop here. We said the first one is for us to know the mightiness, the authority of Allah above everything that no any other person can have. It's not possible. That he's the king of the heaven and the earth, the dunya and the ahero. And he has the ability over, over everything to punish you or to forgive you. Secondly, we say Allah is the one who originated, who brought the creation, who brought us to origin, the fashioner, the holy itself, the death itself, and the life itself. Allah originated it. And he wants us to walk towards good. Those who will be conscious, who will be sincere, and who will walk just for Allah, knowing that Allah is Gufur Iman Taba, he is the forgiveness for whoever turn and return to him. May Almighty Allah count us among those that will turn as soon as possible to him. May he count us among those who will recite the Quran, who will understand the Quran, who will comprehend the Quran, and who will live our life with the Quran. Aisha was asked about the character of the Prophet. She said, Kulkuhu Quran. The character of Prophet Muhammad is the Quran. So it is the Quran said this, you see him doing. But some of when we don't even understand Quran. Because understanding is another thing. Before you will struggle in. The Quran said, give Sadaqa, and he said, No, that ayah is not applicable to me. He was talking to the people of Makkah. I'm not in Makkah, I'm in Nigeria. I would get to be precise. That time they have money. Do you know what is what we are going to be? So we need to understand, comprehend, believe that it is talking to me. When Allah said, Yeah, are you have knowledge, you know you are part of that mass. Don't say no, Allah is only talking about uh, you know. If you have the character that Allah cautioned them against, then you are part of them. Wa and alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.